and some of the sadhaks they were declaring i am the old and i am a bigger healer bigger healer i said for god's sake this shakti it does not you cannot have it in one day you cannot have in 5 days you cannot achieve in 5 months is a real life giving shakti has been given to you so how can you become a bigger healer or a small healer so i said the devil has come then uh, i saw the another thing the, in the lucknow ashram when the satsang was going on more number of people were waiting outside it's a satsang after satsang is the prasad the food and then is the healing in the yagishala they will come and more number of people are standing outside so i said ask them why they have come he said we have come for healing so they don't want to come in satsang they don't want to come in the meditation session but they want to come for the treatment i said it's it's, it's something very wrong then one day when i was walking i saw seven eight wheelchairs or probably more lying in yagishala so what what are these wheelchairs doing is it no baba ji those people came in wheelchair when they became all right they donated <laughs> as a college junk man a kabaddi and sell up this so the attitude in the mindset was very wrong and on that day i said no more healing no more healing because till the time the mindset is not clear i don't want to because it is the karmic repercussions so i think to the shivyo kimyon those who want to learn the advait shri vidya first i will teach them healing the self healing and then is what lord buddha practiced i want to teach you what our masters they practiced i'm going to teach you and then i will with the inner breath and mastering of the mind i'll start the advait shri vidya then i'll start in the primordial sum i'll start so it will be uh mastering of the body now i'll start first before mastering of the body i'll go simultaneously to teach you healing the healing modalities and mastering of the body and before that i would be emptying you out of all the held emotions in you because it is the psychic impressions of the past which decide your present status whether you are happy whether you are sad it is because of the psychic impressions the belief which you are carrying whether you are positive whether you are negative is because of the past psychic impressions whether you are mind open or closed mind is because of psychic impressions whether your failure or your success is because of the psychic impressions and various ailments and diseases you might find a reason but the root of every disease or complication or abnormality is because of the past psychic impressions